What questions do citizens have for the German EU Council Presidency? The new format answers three questions from the population, this time on the subject of digitization in the European Union. What tasks should efficiently be designed in a legislative package on digital services and what should they fulfill? This legislative package on digital services, the Digital Services Act or DSA, announced by the European Commission aims to modernize the 20-year-old e-commerce directive and the responsibilities of digital services. On the other hand, it should ensure fairness and competitive opportunities for innovators, companies and new market participants in markets that are characterized by large online platforms. A modern legal framework for digital services should deepen the single market for digital services and set clearer and harmonized rules and responsibilities. This promotes the internal market, strengthens innovation, growth and competitiveness, as well as consumer confidence in digital services. Certain behaviors from large online platforms, the so-called gatekeepers, should be prohibited. This would ensure a fair online business environment and increase the innovation and its potential and capacity of the online platform ecosystems in the EU. The aim of the German EU Council Presidency is to discuss the issue in the run-up to a proposal from the European Commission expected in December among the member states. How can digital innovators, companies in the growth phase, SMEs and new market players be better supported in the European online platform markets in the future? It is important to ensure a fair online business environment and to increase the innovation potential and capacity of the digital economy in the EU internal market. The existing competition law instruments have limitations so that large online platforms, so-called gatekeepers, and those with significant intermediation power cannot always be obliged to behave in a manner that conforms with the competition law. Fair competition opportunities for all market participants either sufficiently or not quickly enough. Therefore, the ex ante regulatory measures announced by the European Commission under the legislative package on digital services should be introduced for large online platforms that act as gatekeepers. This pre-regulation instrument ensures that fairness and competitive opportunities for innovators, companies and new market uh, participants are guaranteed in the affected markets and that there is no anti-competitive or discriminatory behavior. What is the current status of the Gaia 10 project? With the Gaia 10 project, the federal government is promoting the development of an open, sovereign and networked data infrastructure for Europe. The data infrastructure should offer users added value in terms of data sovereignty, data security and data protection and thus contribute to the development of digital ecosystems in accordance with European standards and values. They want European companies, organizations and citizens to be able to store and share their data securely, trustworthily and interoperably. The Gaia 10 project fits in with the initiatives of the EU Commission, in particular the European Data Strategy and the Industrial Strategy for Europe. The initially German project, which was subsequently promoted jointly by Germans and France in particular, has now become a European project. The first joint project results were presented on June 4th, 2020. On September 15th, 2020, 11 German and French companies and organizations each signed the documents for the establishment of a non-profit association based in Brussels, through which the project will be transformed into fixed stru structures. Membership in this association is open to companies and organizations that share the values and goals of Project Gaia 10 and are committed to them. And interest in membership is already very high. At the same time, users organize themselves in Gaia 10 hubs, which are increasingly emerging in Europe. Their goal is to set up industry-specific data rooms to define requirements for the technical infrastructure solutions and to expand the Gaia 10 solutions. This creates an innovative digital ecosystem in which new digital business models can grow. The aim of the German EU Council Presidency is to advertise support for these goals of data sovereignty and data availability also and especially in the context of Gaia 10. The European Union thrives on the interest and commitment of its citizens. And that is why they want to know 
What questions do you have for the German EU Council Presidency? What exactly would you like to know from the people in the ministries who prepare and take in the end the political decisions? For this purpose, in their three questions, three answers format, they put citizens' questions on key topics of the Council Presidency to vote on their social media channels. They then answer the three most clicked questions on eu2020.de. And if you now want to know more about European or global politics, YouTube has chosen another of my videos right here for you on the end screen, right next to your chance to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video or tomorrow in the first premiere on this channel at 4 p.m. CET. Click and enjoy. Viel Spaß.